Hello, Hi everybody. Guys. <laughs> so glad you joined us today. Yes. I don't know if it's snowing where you're at, but we have been mm -hmm. in snow a good part of the day. Yes, I we have. <laughs> I drove in it, and it's just, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> but uh, we're inside and cozy. But before we get started in our devotion, I just have to say happy birthday, oh, Jasmine. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Look, she chose thank to spend you. her birthday. Oh, here oh, we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got a whole parade this. going. We got a parade going. Look. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, so today is, look, you guys send her some hearts up. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> so she chose to spend. I thought they're going to photobomb. They just, they're going to be surprised. Anyway. Send her some hearts up, will you? She chose to spend her birthday today okay. with you. Yes. Now, Jasmine, no else. tell us how old you are. I'm 23 today. She's so, 23. Yes. And oh my goodness. And so, um, just before we get started, I have to just I have to just tell you a little bit about Jasmine. You know, we've we've talked, uh, you know, like when she started, when she grew up and started singing, and yeah. you know, God gave her such a boldness to to do His work, to sing and, and minister. But today, I got an acrostic out of her name. So, oh. so give us a little moment before we get started in our devotion, so Jasmine doesn't know about this. No. All right. So everybody say Jasmine. Jasmine. J A S M I N E. Now she was a cheerleader, <laughs> That's right? right? Very fitting. <laughs> Very fitting. So here's what it is. I'm, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about her. Okay. So Jasmine. The J is for Jasmine. So here's how it goes. Jasmine, a sweet, modest, intelligent, noble. <laughs> That's awesome. Encourager. <laughs> oh, I love that. that <laughs> so is you know awesome. her name is Jasmine Noble. Yes. So it truly is fitting because it's it's noble is high character, you know, mm. high moral character and you know, uh and that's what she is. And so uh, anyway, we're we are just going to when I whenever I was uh praying, uh, I just saw this hot air balloon Look behind at this, us. Look guys. Isn't Look this, at this. I, isn't that something? So let's get a little facts. A little history uh, before we get in, as we get into our devotion. So the name of our devotion today is called "Rise Above It All." Rise mm -hmm. above it all, and so uh, the first balloon. Look, Jasmine, I just learned this yesterday. <laughs> the first balloon was a what? A pig's bladder. A Who pig. Would I ever thought that? I mean, like a <laughs> pig. Yeah, like an actual pig, like their bladder. <laughs> It's their bladder, and it was discovered in the 1300s oh that they goodness. could. Some kids got a hold of it. Was playing, I guess, probably after they butchered a right. pig. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they blew into it, and it I became a balloon. Realize, yeah. I mean, that's amazing. And bouncing <laughs> around, and so it could be. It could be blown into it. Let's see, Jasmine. We okay. We'll pretend oh, this yeah, is the bladder. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So this is kind of because it was kind of like an off-white look. So they would blow it up. That's pretend like that's a bladder, right. okay? And then look at that. <laughs> and then you know they would you know, they could tie it off, yeah. And it would they would play with it like a balloon. Mm -hmm. So also, you guys may have known this. I did not know this. I've heard of the football being a pigskin, have right? You? Oh yeah. But inside that pigskin, or inside that football, is a bladder. It's Are a you bladder. Serious? It's a pig's bladder. What? So that's why they can eat. They can inflate it. Oh my god! I did not know that. I, I think it's just either. so cool. But now the first rubber balloon. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you didn't tie it off, did you? Right. No, not yet. Okay, so the first rubber balloon um, was in, invented in 1824. Wow. And so, guys, have you ever wondered about the powdery substance? Yes. That's yeah. on the balloon. You know, it's, it's like real powdery. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, me and Jasmine just learned this today yeah. too. So, what what is that? It's powder? that powder's flour. <laughs> it's flour, flour, like from your kitchen. Yes, yeah, like baking flour. <laughs> so, so it just keeps the the balloon the sides from sticking to one yeah. another. But you know what? The balloon wasn't invented before the hot air balloon. I didn't know that either. Oh, really? Did you? So the hot air balloon came first. The hot air balloon came hmm. first, okay. and so it was invented on September nineteenth in seventeen eighty-three. <laughs> so listen, the first unmanned hot air balloon was launched, and there were these. Here was the passengers. Okay, what was the passengers, Jasmine? A duck, a sheep, and a rooster. <laughs> Because they didn't want to try it on right, humans on just humans. yet. And, you yeah. know, ducks used to altitude. So they were just yes. doing an experiment. <laughs> so you know what? It just, it, it went up in the air and it sailed uncontrollably for eight <laughs> minutes. Wow. Eight minutes until it landed into a wooded area two miles away. <laughs> and so, you know what? 
<laughs> Look, the only injuries were what? The sheep was kicking the rooster. <laughs> so there were no fatalities, everybody survived. Have you ever felt like kicking the rooster if you've, ever, if you've grown up around chickens and roosters? Right. You know, and they get up underneath you, you know, you may have kicked a few too. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, um, so a side note I thought was interesting. This was September 19th. Mm -hmm. And it was the time because um, that's when they... That's when it launched. Launch that first, That's, yeah, hot that air balloon. That is when it launched. So, you know, September the 19th, of course, it was 2012, mm -hmm. is when our launch was at this church there, as we were installed as pastors. That's passes. amazing. I thought it was, I thought <laughs> it was is, very yeah. interesting. And so, let me ask you, have you ever rode a hot air, hot air balloon? No, I have not. I would love to. <laughs> you know, one time I was at an amusement park and they, they let, they, it was in, it was a type of hot air balloon that went up so many feet, but you felt the sensation as right. it was coming oh, down, yeah. but not... Anything like the full, yeah, like going up. Oh, and exactly. A full ride. So you know, when you're in that hot air balloon, when you're lifted, it means you you have risen above it all. Yes. Yeah. It lifts you. So you and you know what, Jasmine, when you're lifted above, when you have risen above it all, if mm -hmm. you if you were to float in on you know like above this church, what would would it look? Every, would, how would oh, everything look? Smaller down here, be small. <laughs> everything else looks smaller yes. when you're above it all, doesn't mm -hmm. it? When you have risen above it all. It does. So Proverbs 15 and 24 says, "The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath." Oh, think about that. <laughs> so above there means to be carried up, mm. to arise very high. Yes. Everybody say arise, arise very high. Arise very high. Because when you're up that high, remember, things look smaller. Right. Your troubles yeah. are, your troubles just don't seem yeah. as big. It's not as big of a deal. That's right. And so above means to be carried up mm. and arise very high. But hell, you know what it says, hell? Mm. Look, hell beneath means it's the world of the dead. You know, yeah, it's, it's a pit. pit. <laughs> and so have you ever said... <laughs> Man, this is the pit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that's yes. right. Oh, yeah. Because you have, you're right in there. You're in it, mm -hmm. and so um, then there are those that that gain. How about this? How about that you've had the ropes cut? Okay, you're going up in the air. Oh gosh, yeah. You've had them untied, mm -hmm. and but then, you know, they're not all the way untied. You know, you have to tie, untie all the sides right. that, that so hold down that hot go. air balloon, and so if not, if they're not all untied. You know, you're going to feel. You're not going to. You're not going to go mm -hmm. up to the altitude. So, so there's. So we that those that gain any altitude, we can't gain altitude because no. we're carrying too much weight. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we have to <laughs> untie. Right. You know, we can be tied to so many things. Jasmine, have you mm. ever felt like you know she's she was a, she's been a college student mm -hmm. for oh, yeah. how many years? This is my fifth year. So yeah, fifth year. <laughs> so she's going for her master's. Mm -hmm. And so have you ever felt like you were tied to so many things? Oh gosh, yeah, and just like trying to get it all down, but you just feel so weighed down, whether it's with class, and then you have homework, and studying, and then all the other extracurriculars you do, like, yes, it can, you just feel like the weight of the world's on you, honestly, and, sometimes. And you know what, you, I mean, you want to get up, and you want to get up yes. off the ground, right? right? Sometimes right. We, can, we can just feel so grounded, mm -hmm. and we desperately want to break free, yes. and, but we can still be tied, so mm -hmm. tied to the ropes. And so have you ever heard this saying? Well, that went over like a lead balloon. <laughs> now show us how that is. Yes. Say, you know, maybe maybe you've got this idea and you feel like it's just been shut down, okay? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, that's good, that's perfect. <laughs> So it just, it went over like a lead balloon. You yes, felt like, yeah. and you got discouraged because mm. I mean, you, you got this idea. That and was it, gonna be great. Yeah, everything was gonna work out. And then it just, it doesn't, it doesn't go over the way you that's thought right. it was supposed to. It's that's like, right. Man. <laughs> or if you get too, you know, heady, high-minded or yes. you know, get too stuck oh, yeah. on yourself. What's that? Do you remember that saying? Uh, like, uh, uh, boy, they just let the air out of my balloon. Oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get a little too big of a head. No. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so that means, okay, so when it goes over like a lead balloon, it means that what was intended to go up just went down. <laughs> it just went down. And that's what we are intended to yes, go, up. go up. So, I, you know, I thought this, this was interesting. And I don't know if you can see. Can you? Oh, here's the other balloons that were, oh, yeah, that yeah. were brought in. Okay. <laughs> I got a whole pack Okay, here. so here's a whole bunch of balloons um, that commemorating her birthday today <laughs> that she's 23. Don't forget that. 23. Because you're going to, we'll refer to it in a little bit. So, these balloons now. Birthday balloons, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, it's not going to go too far. Yeah. We need them again. <laughs> okay, so I thought what was interesting is that 
I, I just asked the question, is there a symbolism to birthday balloons? Did you mm -hmm. ever wonder about that? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like where that came from. Yeah, we've always decorated with them, and, you know, I, I've just wondered. But you know what? There is definitely a symbolism to it. Huh. Um, so this is what they, whoever discovered them or invented them, right. this was their intent. Okay, symbolisms, the symbolism of balloons, they're not just for a colorful display for your birthday. They represent a lightness of sorrow. <laughs> I love that. So just like how you have these balloons that are light, you know, and not heavy, they were meant to be light and devoid of the weight of any kind of burden that we may have. That's right. So that's what they represent. So yeah. when you see a balloon, <laughs> it's like, okay, I need to be light. I need right. to lighten up yeah, here. Like <laughs> so, and it was also referred to to bring joy and cheer to others. Huh. And it does. It does. When you get balloons, that, that feels good. <laughs> it makes you smile. <laughs> it does. It really does. And so it means you to rise above it all. Now, I love this scripture, Psalms 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Wait, what was our first one? Did you catch that? The, the first one was, uh, no, that's not it. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. So Psalms 1, 2, 3. One and 123 two. is, one, huh, and, is one and two. So it says this. Unto you I lift up my eyes, O you who dwell in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy on us. I love that. That's and, good. You know, when it talked about how the eyes of a servant look to their master, mm. you know, when a servant knows their master, their eyes and their ears are open right. to, to fulfill mm -hmm. to their oh, yeah. Their, des their desire yes. and they're very attentive so mm -hmm. you know like uh, give an example um, it'd be like, like a dog I think of like oh, you know like is he right. my dog you know I'm the master and it is, she aims to please and she aims to do whatever it is that I want her to do because I'm her master and she's the servant <laughs> that's right so you know I think this is so interesting because you know with the hot air balloon mm -hmm. why they the reason they call it hot air which we know um Hot air rises. Right, yeah, so it lifts that balloon off the ground. So, so the fire, there's fire right, that yeah. lifts hot air up the balloon up into the, uh, off the ground, up into the air. And so what is that fire, guys? Fire. Everybody say fire. Fire. Fire is passion. Yes. Fire mm. represents the passion for God and his work. So then that goes back to the serving, right? Mm. Yes. You know, we are the most fulfilled when we are serving a cause oh, greater yes. than ourselves. And guess what? We get up off the ground and yep. we begin to rise. Mm -hmm. And and I mean, we're, we're just, I, I just have to just stop right here and, and talk about we get to speak to you every day right yeah we are so just this opportunity and jasmine an how does it feel <laughs> it's an honor i mean it feels when we finish each oh it feels so good i mean you you feel light like you just like oh it's this, right. yeah it's like something like you know we delivered what it is that we felt like we were supposed to see say that god wanted us to say it feels so good it does <laughs> and it so what happens is is you are walking in your purpose and your yes. passion and so when you begin to to witness or you begin to speak his word mm -hmm. to someone you know that passion let that passion begin to mm -hmm. rise and burn in side yes. of you and look have you guys ever experienced this jasmine i'll ask you this mm -hmm. when you have witnessed to someone when you have mm -hmm. served the lord in that way when you have witnessed to someone then what happens when after you have done that oh gosh it, i mean just one seeing their reaction to it and just see i mean you can just see their eyes light up to it and it just it i it's almost like a like an energy just transfers in a way it's like wow it is. this feels good it like, is awesome thank you, jesus it it's is amazing awesome. <laughs> and so i love this scripture matthew 23, 23. <laughs> and 11 but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant isn't that mm. something now mm. i want to touch on this greatest there means what very wide high large strong and loud <laughs> just like that hot air balloon yes. do you know that, oh. that that hot air balloon is very loud yeah. huge it's obviously. huge <laughs> and so just look jasmine I, I have to let you share these look the oh. largest hot air balloon in the world yes it's this in, is how it measures. it's in the uk and it's 400 feet wide and 120 feet tall <laughs> that is massive i can't even <laughs> fathom but see, no. you see let, we're gonna yes, lean this way can, and let you see yeah and th there's that. people in that basket but that yeah. that hot air balloon is massive so when he says you're the greatest of all mm. when you're his servant that you know sometimes we think well man if i could preach like th that or so and so or if mm. i could teach a class or if i could mm. do this and i then i would just be doing great things right. for god but do you know what what he is saying is is um that as as his servant 
he that is servant among you would be greatest, greatest. of all. Yes. It's like the greatest job ever. <laughs> right. And it, it's it very high and wide and large and loud. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I love that. So Psalms 25, one through two says, Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. I love that because mm. see, he, what he's saying is you can be, you can rise above it. So right. he said, he said, I'm risen over them, mm -hmm. over my yes. enemies. <laughs> and we're not, people are not our enemy, right? No. You know, the enemy uses, uh, the devil uses people a right. lot of times, but, but ultimately we know where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And so he said, I'm going to rise above it all because again, yes. when you get up, what happens again? Right. Everything's so much smaller. It's so much smaller. <laughs> you, you've risen. So it's over and above. And mm -hmm. today, look, after God had already given this devotion, this morning in when I was reading after the fact, I open up Jesus Calling and it says, mm. as long as you focus on me, you are safe. If you gaze too long at the problems around you, you will sink under the weight of your burdens. When you start to sink, simply come out, call out, help me, Jesus, and I will lift you up. <laughs> Isn't that something? Wow. It just touched my heart. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I just felt his presence because, you know, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses mm -hmm. it shall be established. So God just confirms his word. Mm -hmm. So um, remember, your problems look smaller. I'm mm -hmm. saying it again. Yes. When you're lifted above it all. <laughs> when we say, help me, Jesus, yes. you know, lift me above it all. So uh, we've shared this this uh, little story before, but I want to share it again because it's very fitting. There was a college student, so you can relate to oh, that. Yeah. Um, and he was discouraged. He was a Christian, but he got discouraged. And, and so he had a, a sign at the top of his door that says, um, let God. Mm. So he was, he was very discouraged. So one day he, was, he, he looked at the sign. He went out and shut the door and said, I can't let God. And when mm. he came back in for that evening, when he looked up, the D came off of God. And it said, let, let go. go. <laughs> so let go. Yeah. And let God. Oh, Isn't yes. that something? So absolute surrender is letting go. Mm. So we've got, you know what we've got to do? My goodness, we've got to untie those ropes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've got to say, God, I'm ready. I'm yes. ready for the launch. Yeah, and right. so we're going to let him go, okay? Yep. All right, we're going to let him go. And what he's saying is, I need you to let some stuff go. Mm. If, when you feel grounded and you feel heavy, it means untie those ropes. Yeah, time to let go. Okay, ready? What's our, what's our, what's our key number today? <laughs> two, three, 23. <laughs> so one, two, three, we're going to let him go. go. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know what? That's what he wants you to do is just mm. let it, just let it go. And you know what? Bring joy and cheer to someone else. Allow him to use you to serve others. Yes. And I'm telling you, it will take you up oh, off the yes. ground. So Jasmine, it's your birthday today right, yes. and we celebrate you. Oh, and so you. I want you, if you would, to lead us in mm, prayer. Okay. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you thank for 23, you, God. I thank you for yes. this opportunity that we have to serve you, God. And I just pray for anybody listening yes. right now. God, let them know that it does yes. not matter their place or their position. They can rise above it all. Everything, it does not matter their situation, yes. God. Through you, they can let go and let God. And God, just I pray you just let them. If anybody needs yes, just Jesus. to hear from you or needs a touch from you, let them feel you right now and let them know that they're not in this alone at all. We love you and give you all the praise and glory for everything you're going to do and you're already doing. In your yes. name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you for spending yes, some birthday celebration day with us. We love you all and have a wonderful day. Okay, bye, bye guys. Bye.